Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Hannah and on this channel I post a lot of anti-MLM content and I'm talking like a lot of anti-MLM content, over 130 videos at this point. A playlist will be linked here for you and below if you are interested in binging through that content. It would also mean a lot to me if you would consider subscribing, liking this video, leaving a comment. Those things really help to support the channel and I appreciate you so much for doing that. Today I'm bringing you another MLM top fails video. This is number 53 in the playlist. And in these videos, I feature things like Instagram videos, reels, TikToks, photos that people have sent to me that people in multi-level marketing companies have posted. So I showcase them here, we discuss them, we debunk them a lot of the time. So keep in mind that if you do come across things like this on social media that you think would be a good fit for these videos, I'm always looking for more content to include. Please don't hesitate to send it my way. You can find the instructions on how to do that down below. And before we jump in, I wanna give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Hello fresh. As your calendar starts to fill up this holiday season, you can count on HelloFresh to get you a little bit of that free time back by making cooking simple and quick. Each recipe and its pre-portioned ingredients come right to your door so you can skip the grocery store and a whole lot of that prep work. This has been a lifesaver for me recently, okay? With the holidays, with family coming to town, with being so busy and being pregnant and having very limited energy most days, it's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder when my HelloFresh box gets delivered at my door. I don't have to plan ahead on what I'm making for dinner. I don't have to drag myself to the crowded grocery store. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love cooking. I genuinely enjoy cooking dinner each night. It's like my wind down me time. It's all the planning and the prep work and the grocery shopping that I really don't love. So thankfully I have HelloFresh to help me out with those things. I also love that quality is HelloFresh's top priority. Ingredients are traveling from the farm to your home in less than seven days so you know that they're fresh. And there's over 35 recipes to choose from every week. There's a ton of variety. You can choose from family friendly, fit and wholesome, even veggie. Plus you can easily customize your meals by swapping out proteins and sides, upgrading your proteins or adding proteins to a veggie meal. Lots of flexibility there. For my box, I use the meat and veggie plan and last night I made pork and pepper enchiladas with pico de gallo and lime crema. We are big enchilada lovers around here. These were a huge huge hit, so delicious, so fresh. And the best part is that I spent no brain power on what to make for dinner. I open my fridge, there's the bag of ingredients, I follow my recipe card, and it couldn't have been easier to get dinner on the table. If you would like to get started making mealtimes a little easier this holiday season, visit hellofresh.com and use my code HannahAlonzo70. This is gonna get you 70% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HannahAlonzo70 for 70% off plus free shipping at hellofresh.com. Thanks again, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I have to show you, this is a video from an Optavia rep, and it really speaks for itself. Hey, friends. Uh, happy Tuesday. I just It's been a while since I've been on here, so I thought I'd hop on. Um, just had a couple things on my mind. So, yeah, as I posted yesterday, um, my kiddos were sick. Uh, luckily, they were able to go back to school today, but um, I feel like... Um, it's that time of year where everybody's getting sick and, um, I've just noticed that, um, by taking care of myself and my health and, um, honestly utilizing the fuelings from my program, um, still, you know, two or three times a day, having those as snacks, um, they have so many vitamins and minerals and, um, I feel like that's a huge reason why I haven't gotten sick and, um, just been, I feel my energy low, like my body's fighting off something, but I'm not getting sick. And I think it's because, I, and also, as you've seen, I've been enjoying myself too, going to lots of um, music shows and everything too. And so my body wants to feel a little more run down from um, not getting as much rest as I probably should. But I know how to fuel my body properly, whether it's use, utilizing the fuelings for my program or just knowing what to eat so that I can feel my best and keep going, being a mom, a teacher, um, also making sure I'm enjoying time for myself because now that I do feel good, I'm going to take the time to enjoy myself too. put myself first. If you see what I've got going on here, I've got Mr. Archie craving all of my attention. <laughs> um, but yeah, so 
I just, it's just a thought in my head, um, especially going into Halloween. Um, a lot of people are like, ah, with all the candy. So yeah, if you don't have a good system, if you don't have a good system in place, if you don't have good habits in place, then yeah, the holidays can feel kind of like stressful. Go either like you're either stressed about it or you're just like, ah, screw it all. I'm just going to have all the candy, have all the whatever um, between Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all of that. Just kind of giving up because I've been there where I'm just like, oh, it's an all or nothing thing, right? I can, you know, I have to take care of myself 100% or I might as well just say screw it and just do whatever I want and feel like crap and then afterwards feel bad about it. But um, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing, actually. Um, I'd love to be able to show you how you can um, work on improving your health, losing weight if that's a goal of yours, and you know, still get to enjoy some of the. It got cut off a little bit at the end there, but you get the point. Claiming that consuming Optavia Fuelings is contributing to proper nutrition and good overall health has got to be one of the most absurd claims I've ever heard. I'm filming this video coming off of the back of my taste testing Optavia video, and I know for a fact that the Fuelings are trash. I know that because I put myself through the torture of ingesting them. Let's get one thing clear that Optavia is a weight loss plan that hinges on the fact that their fuelings, as they're called, are extremely low in calories. This is not a plan focused on health and wellness. This is a crash diet that you put yourself through to lose a lot of weight very quickly. And chances are that if you do Optavia, you are going to lose weight because you're consuming far less calories in a day than your body is able to burn. Therefore, you're putting yourself into a caloric deficit in which you are going to shed weight and you're going to see that reflected on the scale. But as I've addressed at length in both the Optavia video where I'm tasting the fuelings and in my Optavia deep dive, they're two separate videos, weight loss from Optavia does not equate to health. In fact, consuming Optavia fuelings is not a healthy choice when it comes to your overall health. These things are quite literally literally processed powders that you mix with water and you call that a meal. It is true that the products are fortified with some vitamins and minerals, but I would say save yourself the hassle of spending hundreds of dollars to choke down these fuelings and just take a multivitamin instead. You're gonna get the same results. Similarly, just eat whole real food. There's plenty of vitamins and minerals in there. You do not need to be following the Optavia plan or consuming their fuelings in order to get your daily vitamins and minerals in. There's absolutely nothing special about the Optavia fuelings aside from the fact that it's marketed as part of a weight loss plan. You can get the same, if not better nutrition, just by consuming real whole foods. Flu season can be really hard on families. Kids are like little petri dish germ machines, okay? And when they start going to daycare or to school, it's pretty inevitable that they are going to get sick pretty regularly as their immune systems develop. And of course, they're then going to bring those illnesses his home, and there's a good chance that the parents in the household, as the ones taking care of the sick kids, are also going to get sick themselves. It's a rough time. It's not fun. I'm sure a lot of parents out there can relate to this struggle right now of having a household that just constantly seems to be battling some kind of illness. And does Optavia as a company claim that their products have the power to help ward off illnesses? No, that's a health claim. They don't have any grounds to make. They could find themselves in some legal trouble if they were to claim such a thing. But here's a rep from their company going on their personal social media and spewing misinformation that Octavia Fuelings have prevented her from catching her kids' illnesses. And by way of doing that, she's tapping into the vulnerabilities of other parents of sick kids right now and making them believe that her products are the solution to keeping their family healthy. All you gotta do is spend $400 on processed prepackaged powders and you will be able to protect yourself from getting sick this flu season. It's absurd. It's nonsensical. It's a predatory pitch to try and make some money off of those parents who are hoping to remain healthy even when their kids are sick. Up next is a Facebook post. This is from a pharmacy rep who is addressing the fact that another MLM called Vic Beauty has recently closed down. Regarding Vic Beauty closing down, I hate to say that I really don't have much information on this. It seemed like one day in October, they just shut everything down. They stopped posting on their social media 
media accounts, they shut down their website. If you do find external links to their website, it takes you to this 404 alert on their webpage saying that it can't be found. But that's all I really know. And of course, getting info from the company on why they shut down is gonna be near impossible. It really seems like they just dropped off the face of the earth kind of quietly. And I think they'd only been around for a year, if that. Definitely a smaller, lesser known MLM that seems to kind of have gone under the radar and then disappeared without an explanation. Unless you have an explanation. If anyone out there knows why Vic Beauty closed down, please let me know. I couldn't find much on it myself. But regardless, because this event happened and Vic Beauty closed down, pharmacy reps in particular are going nuts to try and poach these former Vic Beauty consultants. Here's one example. This post says, it saddens my heart to hear that the economy has taken another MLM company down. <laughs> did the economy take it down or did they take themselves down? You are all in my prayers and I know what you are feeling right now. I know you are probably getting random friend requests and a bunch of cold messages. I'm not going to be a vulture. I respect you more than that. I'm here for you if you need to vent. I am still with pharmacy and would be happy to chat about my company, but I know you need time to reflect and recover from this loss. Hashtag Vic Beauty. So basically, I'm not going to be a vulture and I'm not going to pray on the fact that your company just pulled the rug out from under you, but also here's me shooting my shot and praying on you. My messages are open if you wanna come join my company and let me make a quick buck off of your misfortune. It's crazy. Here's another post from a different pharmacy rep. I read today that Vic Beauty is closing down. My heart breaks for those mamas that feed their families with their network marketing income. The holidays are coming and I'm just feeling so sad reading all of your posts. Now, I'm not gonna blow up your posts, blow up your inbox, or message you about the opportunity opportunity at pharmacy. I won't be that leader. But what I will say is this, if you are looking for a team that will welcome you with open arms, that will encourage you and lift your spirits during this time, that has the resources and systems in place so you don't have to go without a paycheck, Shelby's girl gang could be your next home. We are a small group of women who all love makeup and helping other women feel confident and beautiful in their own skin. I feel it on my heart to extend that invitation to any lady feeling heavy or uncertain about where to turn next. You've absolutely got a seat at our table. Again, I'm not going to try and recruit you and be that leader, but also here's a Facebook post of me trying to recruit you. <laughs> this behavior is disgusting, is it not? This tells us all we need to know about the motivations behind the actions of people who are in MLM companies. Recruit at all costs because that's where the money lies. Even if that means poaching people from another failed company so that you can get a quick recruit and you can make a quick buck. This first post says here that she doesn't want to be a vulture, but that's exactly what's going on here. At the first smell of blood, at the first hint of another sinking MLM, these pharmacy reps are on it. They see an opportunity to make some money in the form of this pool of fresh recruits and they're going for it. And what really irks me, if my tone didn't give it away, is that these pharmacy reps are pretending to feel sad and pretending to have respect for those whose company just shut down. My heart breaks. I'm just feeling so sad. It saddens my heart. You are all in my prayers. I respect you more than that. Save it, ladies. Save it. If you actually respected others, these posts would not exist. You would not be preying on the misfortune of others. You'd be able to recognize how inappropriate that behavior is and you would not engage with it. If your goal is to be predatory and manipulative and make money off of others, just do it. Just say that. Say it with your chest. Don't try and sugarcoat it and be all sickly sweet because we can all see right through it and it makes you look really fake. You're not fooling anybody. We can all see your intentions here. The next thing I have for you, this is a Monate rep who's at the very top of the company who just got back from Monations, which is Monate's annual conference, convention, cult gathering, whatever you want to call it. And she's recapping some of her experiences from that weekend. All right, I'm in the car about to head out, but I wanted to get on here really quickly and just share with you you what transpired over transpired over the past few days um why I was in Florida over the last couple years three years exact I have had just the honor of being included in this very very special intimate time where um a handful of individuals prepare for monations and prepare for the Sunday service at monations the worship band gets together and they rehearse 
just pray over our businesses and over Monate and um, what the Lord's going to do through so many of us that we've been given this platform. And yes, it's to help build a business, but it goes so much further beyond that for so many of us. And it's really truly to bring more people to the Lord through what we're doing. I think what she's saying here is that she's talking about being a part of this select group of people that get to help prepare for the Sunday service at Monations. And I feel like I have to take this opportunity to point out that this is a huge issue with MLM conventions, that they have the incorporation of religion and worship in a place that those things have no business being in. This is a shampoo MLM. This isn't a religious company. This is not a religious organization. This is not a church. This is not a worship event. Not everybody who attends Monations is even religious. So why is a Sunday service at the company's annual conference even a thing? How many of you out there who work for a non-MLM company have gone to that company's hosted event, whatever that is, and then there's a whole segment dedicated to a church service worshiping a religion that you may or may not be affiliated with? That's not a thing. That's not normal in a true professional work conference setting. But it's a huge thing at MLM conferences, and it has a lot to do with faith manipulation. If you can gather all these people together who are stuck in a shampoo pyramid scheme, and you can host a church service for them, in which you are telling them that God wants you to be here, and this is your higher purpose, and by being a part of Monate, you are becoming closer to the Lord. If you are doing that, you are therefore manipulating that person's faith and their system of beliefs for the purpose of trying to keep them in your scam longer. You are taking that person's pre-existing faith and you are manipulating it to try and strengthen their commitment and their loyalty to your company. Very few people are successful in these schemes. Lots of people quit soon after they join because they realize that this is not something that's productive or profitable for them and it's not something they want to be involved in. But wait, if we tell those people that God wants them to be here, they can't argue with God, right? If we can play the God card, maybe we can sink our claws into them a little bit deeper so that they'll stay a little longer and they won't quit yet because people quitting our company is really bad for the scheme if we want to keep this thing afloat. And look, if you're religious, great. If you love God and Jesus, great. If you worship at church on Sundays, perfect. That's not the issue here. What I'm saying is that these practices don't have any place at a shampoo company's convention. And the fact that the company does make a place for it is very intentional and it is designed to manipulate you. So, that is why we were there but i you guys it's just incredible so when i when i share with you these things of knowing the heartbeat behind the company i share the heartbeat behind the company because i've experienced the heartbeat behind the company you know it's it's easy to say that you've um been in a room where you've heard the president talk or the ceo talk but it's another whole it's another thing to be able to have um those moments where you really, really, really get to know the president and the CEO. We were invited to Stuart's home and um, just to be able to be there among those individuals and to hear their hearts and to pray and um, <laughs> to see Stuart get up and just be so excited. He was in his element listening to worship and then the music going and he was so happy and you could just see that in him it's not an act it's not something that you know he does to help produce cells it really is him what kind of weird flex is this to be like i spent time with the president of the company and trust me he's not putting on an act even just bringing up that you've spent time with the ceos or the president of your mlm company has struck me as so odd because quite literally nobody outside the company cares or knows who these people are. If you go up to someone and you're like, guess what? I spent time with Stuart McMillan this weekend. People would be like, cool, I guess. Who are we talking about? And this just serves as a reminder that MLM companies have their own little hierarchies, right? Naturally, they are pyramids where the people at the top
top are drooled over and praised by people at the bottom. And only within the company is it seen as a status symbol to be at the rank of director and to spend time with the president of the company. People outside the company could not care less. This behavior is just so strange to me. The subtle flex of like, I'm at the top of the pyramid and I'm gonna name drop the president of my company on my Instagram story just so you know I know him. This is so bizarre. What are you trying to prove? That you've recruited a crap ton of people to gain your spot at the top of the pyramid scheme and now the president of said pyramid scheme is rewarding you with the opportunity to be in close physical proximity to him? Weird, gross, no one cares. <laughs> you know, it's even sad that I even have to make a comment like that. Um, because of the way that people just twist things and turn things around and um, take things out of context. But I'm telling you this, that it is genuine. It is real. It is authentic. It is who our president is. And there are so many people that have linked arms with him, that are standing beside him, um, that feel the same way, that love the Lord, that want nothing but the best for all of you guys that join this company and you're in good hands so just know that the heartbeat behind the company is real and it is something like i said i'm just super super proud and super blessed to to not only know it but to be able to share it with you guys too so what now you're like his little soldier and you're going out there to defend him as actually being a good person <laughs> isn't that a little alarming why do we feel the need to do that what is the point of this video right now people who are employed at legitimate companies do not go on their personal social media accounts on their own personal time to try and debunk the claim that their president is a scumbag truly a weird flex that does not come across as normal behavior this whole instagram story feels very bizarre to me the next thing I have to show you. This is a Rodan and Fields rep promoting the fact that her company has now launched into hair care. The caption of this photo says, the most requested product I've ever had, hair care. I've ordered samples multiple times this last week and they were claimed before they even arrived, not even halfway through the month and we've already sold six figures. We have a salon presentation happening with over 37 registered salons ready to hear all about this innovative product. If you are a hairstylist or salon, owner dm me for your invite to this private event exclusively for you for those who have tried samples on the fence or ready to start your scalp health journey we have the best pricing available in our holiday bundles for just a few more days don't sleep on this deal nothing makes me happier than the before and afters rolling in and the stories that will literally bring tears to your eyes are you sure <laughs> i feel like crying over hair care is a bit of a stretch just peep the comments as to why i'm so happy. And the reason I show you this is to alert you to the fact that we have yet another MLM company overstepping their boundaries and launching in a product market that is not their own. Rodan and Fields started out as a skincare company. The founders met in dermatology school and actually the origin story of this company is kind of interesting. The founders created the company in 2002. The product was originally sold in department stores. Then Estee Lauder bought the company in 2003, but was then then reacquired by the original founders in 2007, at which point it was then turned into a multi-level marketing company. So this could contribute to the fact that a lot of people are shocked when they hear that Rodan and Fields is an MLM, because it hasn't always been that way. It was sold in department stores in the past, but all of that is besides the point. The point is Rodan and Fields is a skincare company. So what are they doing launching in hair care? The same way that Monate started in hair care, then they went into skincare, then they went into wellness, the same way that Young Living started in essential oils, then went into cleaning products, then personal hygiene products. The same way again that Arbonne started with skincare and then went into supplements and wellness products. It's a tale as old as time. MLM companies very rarely stick with that single product market that they started out with, and that is cause for concern. I'm gonna scoot back over here. You could make an argument that all of these products are loosely related. They all fall under the personal care umbrella of like skincare, cosmetics, wellness, things like that. But think about this kind of behavior in the context of non MLM companies. Think about the brand of shampoo that's in your shower right now. Does that brand 
and also make facial cleansers and protein powder. Think about the skincare you use. Does that brand also make hair treatments and supplements? No, that would be ridiculous, but that is what MLM companies do. The way I look at it is that if you try to be an expert in everything, you are an expert in nothing. I feel like I definitely took that from somewhere. I, that's not an original quote. I don't know where that came from, but it's like if you go to a steakhouse and they also serve Italian, Chinese, and Mexican on the menu, <laughs> odds are that not all of those dishes that restaurant offers are going to be of the best quality. Do you see what I'm saying? In my opinion, it's better to niche down and zero in on the type of product that you make best and focus your time, your energy, your money into making that one thing the best product it can possibly be. In other words, stay in your lane. And most legitimate brands do, okay? They figure that out, but not MLM companies. They just can't seem to help but branch out into product markets that they don't belong in. And I think that there's a couple explanations for this. Number one, it's a cash grab. It's a way for that company to make a lot of quick, easy money because the people who have signed up to sell their products are also the primary customers of those products. So if your company launches a new product line, you already have this built-in set of customers that are immediately going to spend their money on it. And that can probably be justified by those reps because they're thinking, well, if my company is launching into hair care, I should probably buy the hair care. I should use it. I should show it on my social media. I should build this personal testimony. And that's how they justify spending the money on it. The second reason I feel like maybe they do this is so that they have a there's something for everybody defense. Because if you're a Rodan and Fields rep and all your company sells is skincare and the person that you're trying to pitch to is like, no, thanks. I actually love my skincare. I'm not looking to switch right now. Then they can fire back with, well, we also have a hair care line. What about your hair care? And for some companies, it really does go as deep as, oh, well, we have supplements. We have cleaning products. We even have cosmetics too. So a part of me feels like companies do this so that they are able to appeal to a broader range of potential customers. It makes it a bit trickier for people to kind of wiggle their way out of that pitch because they can no longer use the excuse of like, no thanks, I don't need that one very specific type of product. In any case, I don't think it's a good sign when an MLM company launches a new product that is not considered to be their specialty. Non-MLM brands don't have to do this because if their product is actually good and it's actually high quality, there would be this naturally high demand for it and they wouldn't feel the need to continually expand outwards into different product markets that they don't belong in to try and squeeze additional money out of customers. Oh God, okay, this next thing I have for you, this is a screenshot of a post on Reddit that was sent to me. Huge, ginormous trigger warning for the death of a child and for egregious MLM behavior. There's gonna be a lot of really blunt, graphic, upsetting language in this section, so please skip over it if you need to. So somebody posted this on Reddit and their description of it says, trigger warning, my cousin had a stillbirth last night and one of her friends in Beachbody messages her this, I am horrified and I've never expected anything like this would ever happen in my life. I'm posting this on a throwaway account for privacy. Here is the screenshot that a Beachbody rep sent to someone who just had a stillbirth. I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. I wanted to tell you about the company I work for to maybe boost some hope. I have worked with many postpartum women who wish to get rid of their mom bod and through my company, I have been able to help them successfully lose weight. If you think that's something you think you'd like to do to to help put you in better spirits, I would be more than happy to give you more information and start this journey with you. Just let me know with a little heart emoji. Shame on this beach body coach. Shame on you. I hope you step on a Lego with your bare feet. You as a viewer do not need me to tell you how inappropriate this is. Anyone watching this video right now can clearly understand how a boundary was crossed and how this beach body coach is out of line. According to the CDC, a stillbirth is the death or loss of a baby before or during delivery. Both miscarriage and stillbirth describe pregnancy loss, but they differ according to when the loss occurs. In the United States, a miscarriage is usually defined as the loss of a baby before the 20th week of pregnancy, and a stillbirth is the loss of a baby at or after 20 weeks of pregnancy. I want to emphasize that by 20 weeks gestation, that baby is about 10 inches long, they weigh almost a pound, they are big enough that their movements are clearly felt, and the mother is like, 
likely beginning to show and she has some semblance of a baby bump, okay? And the reason I say this is to emphasize that somebody who has experienced a stillbirth likely has a body that has already undergone significant physical changes to accommodate a baby of that size. That mother likely looks pregnant by this point and she will likely still look pregnant for a period of time even after the loss. So the fact that this beach body rep is taking the angle of let me help you with your mom bod and get back to your pre-pregnancy weight the day after she's lost the baby is absolutely vile. The emotional and physical trauma that that woman has just experienced birthing a child that was not alive is unimaginable. I will not cry right here. I will not cry. I will not cry. I will not cry. I'm just gonna go out on a limb right here and say that the thought of bouncing back or shedding the baby weight is the last thing on her mind at this particular moment. The message that this Beachbody coach sent her is so dismissive and rude. It's completely ignoring the true and valid and real experiences that that person has gone through. And it's jumping straight into how can I insert myself here to propose a solution that she hasn't even expressed needing help with. This just goes to show that MLM reps will try to insert themselves into any kind of situation if they think there's even the slightest potential for them to make some money off of it. I'm sorry, but a true friend would not send you a message like this. This person, this Beachbody coach is not your friend. This is somebody in your life who sees you as an opportunity and they are trying to take advantage of something really traumatic that just happened to you for their own financial gain. Absolutely vile. Again, shame on this person. I can only hope that one day she comes to realize how completely out of line and inappropriate her behavior is. Okay, I've taken some deep breaths. I've collected myself. Moving on to the next thing. This is a clip of an It Works rep promoting the company's $5,000 Christmas cash bonus that they're offering. This is an incentive that the company runs every year to, I guess, try and help entice people to like really hustle and grind towards their biz goals and hopefully earn some extra money during a time that can be really financially difficult for a lot of families. Hello, my friends. So we got back from golfing and I went in and got dressed and came out here and sat down and realized I never took the tags off any of my pillows that I put on this bench that my dad made me like a year ago. But I wanted to share really quickly. So while we were golfing, I helped my girl Grace relaunch her business. She was in the business with me like two years ago, started making a full-time income and she just jumped in again. And why it is so good that she just jumped in is because two days ago, our company announced a $5,000 Christmas cash bonus. And yes, I said five grand last year. I earned a five figure bonus right before Christmas and last year's Christmas just wasn't the same for any of my girls on my team because they had so much money they were able to earn and so you are eligible for that same bonus five grand before Christmas and yes it's literally five thousand dollars in cash I don't care if you want to do it just for Christmas gifts I don't know what you may need that extra income for but if you want Christmas to look different this year message me Christmas cash and I would love to help you kind of get a game plan to help you earn that bonus before Christmas for you and your family and I also wanted to share a little bit of perspective to you guys. So I joined December 21st, 2016, which was four days before Christmas. And literally that month I earned a $500 bonus. And in my mind, I was like, oh, you know, I came here for gas and grocery money, just won a couple hundred dollars a month. And now look at what I've done with it. Like I joined for just a small amount of money and now it's become my career. It's given me everything that I have. It's paid every bill from A to Z every Christmas for the last six years. And now I have a conviction over my life to be able to share this with you guys because I know what it's done for me and I know that many of you guys watch me and you're like this Christmas is gonna suck this Christmas I'm not gonna be able to give my kids what they want I'm gonna have to stress about things I can't take off like I want to I'm gonna have to miss out on Christmas with my family I can't go across the country to see my family that's out of state because I can't afford the traveling whatever it is I'm here to help you and I know that I share this every day for that reason because I know what that's like so here's the deal. Usually I pride myself on being able to read the fine print, on being able to dissect and debunk what they're claiming and be able to present that in a clear and concise way that's easy for the viewer to understand. I, Hannah Alonzo, am unable to do that in this case. I knew as soon as she started talking about the $5,000 bonus that there had to be a catch. Obviously there's some kind of fine print. Obviously there's some kind of loophole. So what I did is I 
reached out to Jessica Hickson, who also has an anti MLM YouTube channel and who was in it works and who was at the top of the company and who was responsible for trying to explain these kinds of things to her team. And I was like, look, Jessica, give me the lowdown on the bonus thing. Cause I can't find any information about it online. And she responded saying, Oh, I just made a video about this. Here's the link. It's a 40 minute video where Jessica is watching and trying to make sense of how this $5,000 cash bonus program works. <laughs> and even Jessica admits that it is extremely confusing. I'll have Jessica's channel and that video linked below. Definitely subscribe to Jessica if you're not already. She makes some great videos offering some great insight as somebody who actually was in the top of an MLM. I watched Jessica's video in its entirety and one of the conclusions that she came to based on this it works very vague and complicated explanation of how to get the bonus is that a person would need to get 28 new customers and 14 new distributors in a single month in order to qualify for the $5,000 cash bonus. And that less than 2% of people in the company are at a rank where this kind of customer and recruitment volume would even be reasonable. So what I'm taking from all of this is that yes, it works does offer a $5,000 cash bonus for Christmas time, but it is nearly impossible for anyone to actually achieve it. The requirements are so steep. They are so difficult to complete that the likelihood of someone actually getting that bonus is next to none. What good is your company offering a $5,000 bonus if it's so difficult to achieve? She's trying to appeal to that struggling person who just wants some extra money around the holidays to lighten that financial load, but what she's promoting is not achievable. To me, this is like getting on my Instagram story and being like, hey everyone, I know Christmas is a really hard time financially, but I have an amazing opportunity for you. You have a shot at making $20 million by Christmas. And all you have to do is buy a Powerball ticket. Like seriously, that's what this sounds like to me. An MLM rep can get on their social media and promote whatever they want to, to make the business opportunity sound better because it's technically possible, right? It's possible to get a $5,000 bonus from it works right now, but it's not likely. And that's what it all comes down to. Please don't be swayed or dazzled or disillusioned by these things that people are saying on their Instagram because odds are I can nearly guarantee you that they are not giving you all the details. And if they did give you all the details, then you wouldn't join. And that my friends is everything I have for you for this MLM top fails video. Thank you to those who sent me everything that I featured in this video today. And again, if you do come across something that you would like for me to consider for one of these videos, please send it my way. I would love to take a look at it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one real soon.